So we have the E63 AMG getting detailed right now. Uh, they cleaned the exterior of the E350. We're going to do a review on that car. I'm going to tell y'all guys what I'm going to do with this car. And what I'm going to do with this car, this which is the E550. Uh, naturally aspirated V8. Beautiful beast right here. It's actually my daily driver, like my main daily driver. And this is my most reliable car out of all the cars that I have. And this is, well, this is my dream car come true. This is my dream car come true. So, here we are. Hey YouTube, Montega here. Today we're gonna to do a review of my Mercedes W212 E350 2016. And out of all my cars in my garage, this is actually my most reliable car. Okay, so we are leaving the gym, 24 hour fitness. Today we had a light workout. Ugh, just a few rounds, shadow boxing. Went in there into the sauna, got a good sweat in. Now it's time to take my E350 that I'm currently in right now. And we're gonna go get the oil change because it's uh, 700 miles past service B1, which is not really anything crazy. So, so yeah, like I was in. saying, we, um, we're headed to the oil change express. I'm no longer a partner there. Uh, good brother bought it out. Um, he's a nurse. Yeah, he's a nurse. Good brother bought it out. So we're gonna go see my brother Lamont. Um, have them change the oil here. I went and got the mobile one. So we'll have them change the oil. They should have the air filters at the location. So I shouldn't have to buy it somewhere else. I could just buy it from them. So that's Caleb. Caleb is down telling me to come inside, telling me to cut my wheel to the side and come inside. Okay, now here go my brother ahead. Lamar, YouTube, ah! All Chains Express, we live in the building right now. This is what the V6 engine looked like. So officially we left the All Chains Express. Um, I don't know why my car is still telling me that I have a tire issue. Because I definitely put the, it says zero messages. So maybe it was just cut off in a few minutes by itself we'll correct now it. the last time you seen this vehicle it was getting clean but since then we've had rain and you've seen i had to get the oil changed you know just things happen i'm gonna get this money while these bodies watch now this the kind of money got them got this talking. My eyes sitting lower than the Aston Martin. With the car started right now, this car, simple features, heated seats. Um, it has dual climate areas, you know, in the front. It also has climate control in the back. And as you can see, it's a ton of space back here. Just don't mind the Febreze. Um, and the car has features like a rear sunshade. And again, this car, this car, when I wanna be low incognito, don't want too many eyes on me, this is the car that I drive. YouTube, what's up? So we are taking my W212 E350 out for a drive. Show I drive this car maybe two times a month, yeah, unless it rains. If it's raining and it's raining a lot, then I'll drive the car a lot. This car is outside more than my other cars because my other cars are black. But it doesn't mean that I doesn't I don't love this car any less. This is in fact my most reliable car. And hey, it could be because I don't drive this car as much as I do, you know, my other cars. But um 
this is the car like when I'm going to court and I want to be subtle, this is the car that I, the car that I take. When I'm driving from Houston to Austin, this is the car that I take. Uh, so, I mean, yes, I do drive it on average about two times a month, but if it's really rainy outside, then I'm gonna be in this vehicle. Um, if it's a, if it's something that I gotta go to or drive to, I'm gonna be in this vehicle. If I'm going to a lunch meeting and I may not want to um, appear wealthier than the people that I'm actually going to go have lunch with, but you still want to pull up in something very respectable, something very classy, then I'm going to drive this car. This car is immaculate. And what I'm going to do with this car and the other three cars is I will be adding a 12-inch uh, LCD Android touchscreen with a uh, with CarPlay, and we'll be putting the footage up. Hopefully, we'll have that done uh, mid-March, um, middle of March. Uh, my cousin is moving out here to further our car collection, so he'll be bringing the G-Wagon out here, and I think he's gonna add a couple more too as well, so uh, I'm excited about the new podcast that's coming out that we're doing. We're making some great changes. We're gonna have in-guest studios, everything else. So I'm looking really, 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 really forward to the future. And back to this car, you hear it guys, this car is amazing. It doesn't have air suspension like my 550 and like the E63 does, but the suspension is sound. I mean, it doesn't have the bolstering seats. I had a 350 that had the uh, bolstering seats inside of it and as well as the Asajan has seats inside of it. But this car only has the heated seats like I showed you and it has the rear sunshade, which I currently have up right now and it's doing amazing job you guys i recommend that if you want to get into mercedes you know uh you get into the e-class to me the e-class is the most reliable class mercedes makes i know some people are like why you don't get a 2023 or 2021 or because usually to be honest with you when they first come out with a car and they change a facelift or they just come out with something new that's to a car whatever the case may be they don't really get out all the kinks because it's something that's new. So you can almost always bet on something possibly going wrong inside the vehicle because it's a new vehicle. And outside of that, I do like to work on my cars, as you've seen already with content from the E63. I like to work on my cars. I went to Delta College when I lived in California. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a certified YouTube mechanic. So I would much rather be able to work on my cars as well. Um, to me, the 2016 E-Class has the greatest capability. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with the W212 uh, frame. Like uh, my E550 is a 2011. So for it to be that old, 2011, 2012 model, I mean, it still has the same chassis as this 2016 model. The inside of the car is basically still the same. I mean, the inside of this car is beautiful. And outside of just a little issue here that I'll end up showing you guys, which we'll end up uh, trying to DIY ourselves that we can find an actual kit that, um, that I feel like, you know, that I would feel comfortable using. If we can find an actual kit, then I'll come in here. But this stress right here on the leather, which I'll show you right now, the stress on this leather that I, that you just seen right here, the stress on this leather, it happened because the car sits outside a great deal. It sits outside a lot. It sits outside a lot, and not only does it sit outside a lot, but it's not it's not it's not driven a lot. <laughs> like I told you before, it's not driven a lot. Um, yes, I have a sun visor, but I do find myself to be lazy sometimes and I don't always put it in like I'm putting it in right now so outside of that outside of this uh, excuse me outside of this particular issue right here this car sound this car sound this car is bulletproof this car is amazing I love this car and I'm glad I got to show one of my vehicles to you this is an excellent daily driver 
can never go wrong with this car right here. Excellent daily driver. Um, you see me did the oil change to it. We had uh, my guys come over here and detail the car, but it rained afterwards, so of course the car, you know, got a little spotty. But hopefully, you know, you guys got to enjoy the footage. You guys got to see a little bit of what goes on with the cars. And I'm still working on other car, car content. I got some stuff on the E63 coming that I've been working on. And I believe the next car that I'm going to do a review on will be my 550 that I named the Venom. This car name is Ghost. This is like a charcoal gray, light, light gray, you know, car. But I plan on turning this car green. And I plan on putting gold rim, gold rims on this car. So that's something to look forward to, too. So we're going to do a screen in here. We'll fix this a pole tree. We're going to end up doing a green wrap for my bros at uh, Rap Stars. And I'm going to get some beautiful uh, forged rims for this vehicle just to give it a nice little spice. And what I won't do is what I see people doing. Hey, to each his own, but I'm not going to debadge this car. I'm not going to add anything on this car that isn't... Um, that isn't uh, related to the car. I Meaning I'm not gonna put AMG on it. I'm not gonna do anything. Like I'm gonna make this car look so beautiful by this time next year that it's just gonna be able to stand up on its own. And outside of the, I'm gonna definitely remove all of the chrome off of it. So the E350 badging will just be black. But this car is gonna be green. It's gonna have beautiful gold rims on it. And it's gonna be fire. And I can't wait for you to see it. But before we do that, we will do the touch screen in this car. And all the other cars, we're going to knock all of that out. Hopefully, I can do all three of them in the same day. If not, then I'll create content where I just, I break it up. So, this is my E350, and I am out. Get out of my car.